Hey, this is Digital Byte Computing. Today we're gonna to look at how to get Alexa to add a reminders into your reminders list on your iPhone. All right, so here we are on our iPhone. We're gonna open up the reminders right here. And you'll see that I've got a to-do list. Okay, nice and easy. This is the Apple to-do list, which you can have synced with other members of your family or people that are sharing an Apple ID or something similar to that nature. And I can go into here and I can say, pick up the kids into my reminder, and then that will then go and sync and do what it needs to do. Now, if you are using Alexa, you've probably got on your phone the Amazon Alexa app right here. And right in here, I've got a whole bunch of things, okay? And inside my Alexa app, I've also got a list area right here with its own to-do list. A computer is on my to-do list. And you'll see that this is not in sync. So I want to be able to add a reminder into here by talking to Alexa and then it's automatically going to go and add it to my to-do list on my iOS device. So how do I do this? So well, we're gonna use a essentially a tool in the middle of the uh, Alexa app and the iOS reminders app um, called IFTTT, which is called If, there, if This, Then That. Uh, you can download this straight from the Apple Store. So if you go to the Apple Store and you look up FTTT, you'll see that the app is just in here. And really the purpose of this, app, of this application is, as it says, it connects applications and devices together. So in this case, it's gonna connect the Alexa suite to the iOS suite. So I'm gonna go ahead and download that. You'll see I've already downloaded it, so I can click on open, but if you haven't, go ahead and download it. And I'm gonna select open. Now, once I'm in here, uh, there are essentially applets or little, little applications that you can create, little modules that you can create to be able to go do a whole bunch of cool things. But the great thing about this, this there is already a huge library of applets that people have already created. And one of them is actually the applet that we are talking about right now. So if I go to the search on the top right corner here, and I look up in here, I'm gonna just type in iOS, Alexa list, all right, nice and easy. You'll see that right from here, one of the top hits is actually add an iOS reminder when a new item is added to your Alexa to-do list. So let's just go and do the very first one. So we can go and open this up and I can turn this applet on. So I'm gonna do that. It's gonna turn that on on my iOS device. And then once that's done, I go back to my main menu and I click on the bottom right hand corner on my applets. You see that the very top one is add an iOS reminder when a new item is added to your Alexa to-do list. So I go ahead and open this one up. And at the moment, I can't really do much. So if I just go and try it right now, it will likely not work. Okay, so a very good example. So let's just go into my app in here. And I'm gonna say, Alexa, add to the to-do list, clean up the house. So there it is, it's already been added into to-do, nice and easy. If I go into the reminder section right here, you'll see that that is currently blank. But there is an actual uh, to-do list that uh, Alexa itself has created um, and it's added it into there, clean up the house. So look, the, the integration is working, but it's adding it to the wrong spot. So back into if this then that, Let's have a look at why this happened. So right in the app here, I, on the top right corner, I can click on the configuration button and you'll see exactly why this has done this. So it says, reminder is add item to a list called Alexa to do's. Nice and easy. So I'm gonna just rename this like so. Make sure it's the uppercase, lowercase is all correct. Done and save. It should all be okay now. So let's just go back into my app here. Alexa, add buy some oranges to the to-do list. I added buy some oranges to your to-do list. All right, so you'll see that it's added it straight into there without too much complication. 
And if everything has worked correctly, I should now be able to go into reminders. So you'll see right in here, I've now got into my to-do list, buy some oranges. Now you may have noticed that does take a little bit of time. It may take a little bit of time to get in there, but it will eventually get in there. That is the process, simple, simple, on how to, you know, using this simple little app in between the Alexa and the iOS app to be able to sync your reminders, your items, your to-do list in your Alexa app directly with your iOS reminders and to-do list as well. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, I would love it if you give me a thumbs up and subscribe to Digital Byte Computing for a whole bunch of more videos. Thanks for watching.